Hello everybody. Uh, this is Lassie, and today I'm going to continue with our Minecraft project. I'm not going to really do something that to do with something with Minecraft, but, or actually we do, you know. I was playing with my friends a while ago in Minecraft server, and I was thinking what would Minecraft be without commands. You know, we were, like, cheating TNT and blowing stuff up, and we were building, like, giant castles. So I thought our version of Minecraft should have a cheat engine or cheat thing too. So let's create that. So I just created a new script. I created a cube where a player can walk on and this is a player if you can see using new scenes just because this move script is easy. The move script the com standard unity is pretty difficult to uh, you know using this tutorial since it's gonna be basic tutorial so I recommend you to use another move script and the standard one of unity. Of course you can try so First thing I did, I'm will do it again. Uh, first thing I did was I opened the move script. I think I already did, yes. And I typed in front of the um, variables pub. So I'll do it again. Wait, I did this. Now, these are the normal variables. You know, you would s normally variable looks like this, and I typed public. So all other scripts can access this uh, variable. And I type static so that all our scripts can change this uh, this variable public static. So uh, I'll just like this, and then you save that off. You do that with all your variables when you use in the cheat engine. So now you create a new script. I already did that as well, and I call it code. So let's start off with it. All right. First thing you want to do is create a variable blank. Length equals to float. I think. I think length is float. I don't know. Sure. Maybe it's an int. Hmm. Height. Height is equals to float as well. It might be an int. I don't know for sure. Uh, just go function. Start. You know how function it needs to look like. I don't need to explain that. We did this a couple of times. Now I'm gonna tell them what length the length is. So it's pretty weird, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So I'll just type in length C equals to screen dot. Uh, we're doing high, so width. And don't forget the dot comma and then height. Height is gonna be equals to screen dot height. Now we obviously don't want to be the text field or chat bar uh, as high as the screen, so we're gonna reduce that with minus. And I'll explain to you in the function on GUI. Uh, basically, you know, you know what this function does. I think we worked with this before. Basically, you can create our GUIs in here. So just type GUI dot text area as rect, not new rect, right? It's new rect. I think it's, no, no, no. It's G sharp. Sorry if I, you know, I might uh, type some uh, errors in the script because I'm used to work with G sharp. I'm working on a multiplayer game so and shoe sharp is a little bit different than javascript so i'm sorry guys it's apparently make some mistakes uh, we obviously want to uh, be zero the distance is being to the left side of the screen we want it to be the screen height minus 20 so we type in height height Oh, it did something wrong in here. Height minus 20. Mm. Then the length, you want it to be the full length of the screen. 
and then we want of course to be what's 20 because we took the 20 as well so uh, let's see if we don't get any errors in our script for now uh, I'm gonna identify Oops, to moon you to land um minus equals maybe. Maybe that would have been wrong. Okay, now we'll go with some more. Land. What do you think it take? Zero as well. And delete this. I don't know what I did wrong, but apparently I did something wrong. Uh, just again, it's, I'm, because I'm used to C sharp now. Could not convert int to system type. So I basically could not. Oh, yeah, of course. Ah, stupid mistake of mine. I want you to go away now. So can we play now? We just need to go here as well. We did something wrong in the text area. I don't know what. Uh, let's say what I'm gonna use. Um, let's say we're gonna use commands. Um, and of course, we need to make a variable. It's called command. That James doesn't know what to do anyway with it. So command equals to. I'm just type these two things. <coughs> and the dot comma, of course. Um, let's save that off and see if our errors are gone. Normally it should. Voila. And we do not get, um, we do not get an GUI. Why? 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 Put it at zero, maybe a sec, maybe 20. Save this off. Okay, this works, but we didn't we do not have a text field and I don't know why just actually. Did I have some right? Okay, just go to the Unity form like I always do and type in sex area GUI the tags area. Let's see what that we did wrong. We well, did have to run no one. Oh no, I see what we did wrong. Command of course to be stay with mine. Okay, command see if this works. Um, of course we forgot to let's, let's see if this works. No. 
don't get much moving. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna hit pause for a second. Uh, I'm sorry guys, we did something really stupid. Of course, we're gonna attach the uh, remove component. Of course, we're gonna add it to our game, or times we don't do well, we won't be able to do anything with it, so. It's really, really stupid uh, that I didn't saw that coming. And, well, uh, there's our. Um, there's our little cheat bar, or whatever you want to call it. So, if you can see, uh, by typing for something in it, it will appear there, and here's where we're going to add some other commands. Um, it would be nice if I would be able to. Lines, lines, minus equals. Well, let's say sixty. I hope that doesn't get an error. Perfect. Mm, minus equals, you know, one hundred. Okay, copy that and copy, paste, and change length into length 2, change this into length, copy. Paste and two. Now we obviously don't want it to be the whole screen, so what we want is we want it to be you know full length minus this 100. So um, the length is gonna be 100, and distance from this is we want to be. Um, Length two. That comes true. So basically, what we have to do now is copy this, paste, make length two of it, copy this. Well, we did something wrong. Paste. And we'll. Now we normally should have a second screen, but we of course have to. I'm just gonna call this num. But I don't know. Changes in number as well. And create a new variable called number, of course. I think that's pretty obviously. And of course, string. Save that off and see if we did it wrong. Maybe I can see if we did something wrong. Ooh. Apparently it did. Oh yeah, I forgot to change this in two. Maybe that's what I did wrong. Yeah. Okay, this is perfect, guys. We have here we can type, you know, the command. Here we can type the number we need to change it in. It's really perfect, it's exactly how I wanted it. Making the same clicking. Oh, yeah, stupid. But now we're gonna start, now we finish our GUI, now we're gonna start adding our update function. Function update. 
up, it's wrong. No, it's wrong button. Okay, let's see how many minutes we got. Oh, bye guys, don't forget to subscribe, of course.